Hi there, my name is Sean Wood, and I was the team manager for EscapeX, also known as the Raspberry Pi Escape Room Project. Um, my primary uh, responsibilities as the team manager was to handle communication, documentation, as well as delivering uh, clear and concise um, design goals for the project itself. Um, with that in mind, I um, I had done about two two Skype meetings every week. Um, There's definitely more towards the end of it as we were getting closer to the deadline, and um, I did the the notebook as well as the journal, and um, I'm going to be doing this video it's, uh, as well. On top of all that, I pretty much had a say in everything that happened in the project itself, uh, design-wise, and I helped out as much as I could. But enough about me, check out everyone else. Hello, my name is Anders Valdez, and I am the team's web developer. My main task was to create the website, which is an informative web page about the escape room project. The work needed to develop the website was shared with Sean Wood, who developed amazing content to display on the website. My role was mainly passive as I had to sit back and understand ideas to be able to design the website. I needed a base image of what was needed for the web page, so I developed a small rough draft with a single image on the background and a couple of different styles for displaying things. After the team reviewed the website, I then developed a prototype for a more concrete web page. Another set of revisions were done by the team. Based on these revisions, I created a working prototype with full-blown capabilities and features. I feel amazing about our project. I remember reading the whole theory behind virtual teams last semester. Back then, I could only think to myself, how would a project like that work? Now I can say that I have had my first experience with virtual teams and it feels great. Our productivity was a little slow in the beginning but everything to started to fall in place. I would like to end this by giving thanks to every single one of our team members because I know we all have difficulties but we all kept pace. I would like to give special thanks to Sean for, giving, for going the extra mile and keeping the team on track. Bye. Hello, my name is uh, Stefan Ivanchuk. I've been the game coder uh, for the team. Also, I help with, um, uh, and I give my input with the uh, uh, website, database, and uh, I was ready to jump in whenever needed. Also, uh, I want to thank Sean for being a great coordinator, and um, I think part of uh, the success of uh, this team, uh, a ma major part actually, of the success of this team was uh, a great overall communication um, besides that uh, my favorite memory my favorite memory is uh, when uh, I made a game on was working and um, that's uh, that was a great great achievement I was a bit nervous in the beginning when I, I decided to handle the game but uh, it uh, came out right and it was working uh, and uh, pretty much um, looking forward uh, I think the, the whole uh, project was uh, a great uh, experience for us and uh, for for us the team members and uh, a great uh, experience for the future and our future career Hello, my name is Kamen Narain and I am the team IT coordinator I propose ideas and offer solutions in all things IT I contributed ideas to the initial escape room game concept, ideas demonstrating STEM concepts. I spent time learning the escape room software that was proposed by Mr. Brunick. I offered to help in programming the game. I assisted in vectoring the game pieces in Adobe Illustrator based off of the electron oxygen generator schematics. I provided initial 3D mockups of the electron oxygen generator which was later scrapped due to complexity. I created the LAMP web server and build the survey of the database that then is created using PHP MySQL, initially later opting for SQLite with various model view frameworks. I felt the project went well, however, if we had implemented a solid project management agile framework, the deliverables could have been a lot better. Issues I ran into is disagreements and complexities of the game and in project management. I felt like at times it could be random and not as organized as it, ha it could have been potentially been. 
What went well with the project is our ability to pull through and get past disagreements and remain steadfast. What I learned from doing this project is that from the beginning, Agile framework should be implemented and everyone must be on the same page. My favorite memory of the project is learning how to work with others, looking past disagreements, and personal observation of seeing how a project not structured in Agile is conceived, and vice versa. All in all, this was a great project, a great experience. Thank you. Hello, my name is Dennis Jones. I am one of the creators of the database. Basically, I created uh, with another member the database and implemented the survey onto it so it would connect together. Um, I like this project. It was a very cool concept for me, so I made sure when it was up that I jumped on it immediately. The team's been working really great together. Everybody's been helpful if anybody else got stuck on anything, which was kind of cool. Um, no issues with the team whatsoever. Uh, you know, if somebody wasn't able to make it to one of the meetings, uh, it was accept. You know, they were understanding. You know, si people's situations, which was very helpful for me, who had a lot of medical appointments that caused conflict with the uh, the group meetups. Um, I've learned a lot from this project. I've learned a little bit about web page design. I've learned a bit about video game creation. Uh, working with the Raspberry Pi, which I had never done before, as well as how to convert from Access to uh, MySQL, which was kind of cool. Um, I think my favorite memory from the group project was probably when we met the professor, and he laid out his expectations and cleared the airway for a lot of confusions we had. That, to me, was probably my favorite moment. This is our Raspberry Pi escape room. On the desktop you can see that we have a manual that has the information for the survey, the website, as well as the SQL login. This is our website. It has a home which is a general overview, what is STEM and what is Pi, uh, Raspberry Pi, as well as the link to the escape room and the entrance survey. We ask them to put in their first name, their last name, as well as their gender, their age, have they ever heard of STEM before, if they know what a Raspberry Pi is, if they've ever done the room before, their interest in STEM itself. We ask them what made them want to do the escape room, their favorite school subject, and if they are ready to enter the room itself. Once they select yes and then submit, it takes them into the escape room. Now the objective here is to collect, connect the various pieces together to repair the device so we can make it back home from Mars. Once all the pieces are connected, you will see a display message that says congratulations. And then it will also have a link to the exit survey. As you can see, they're connecting the pieces. And here's the exit survey where we ask them their name again. If they enjoyed the escape room, did they learn anything new? Uh, if they know now what STEM means, how interested they were in it, and how hard they thought it was. And then we ask them if they were uh, more interested now in the STEM fields. And then we ask for any extra comments that they might have or any improvements we could make to the escape room itself. Now we are going to show that the survey actually went through into the database. As you can see, we have both the exit and the entrance survey and player B's information did record into the database. We have this in both text form, as you can see here, as well as a graphical chart with all the questions. We also have that for the entrance survey itself. And as you can see, player B's information did in fact record and here's it as a chart. 
Hello again. So, as you could tell, we had a lot of fun doing this project, and uh, there were some ups and there were some downs. I mean, as project manager, there's a couple things that I wish we could have done differently, that I could have done differently. But overall, I, I think the project was a success, and I'm very excited to see how it'll turn out in the future. Uh, hopefully, with the, uh, you know, with them actually building it in the Orlando Science Center, and who you knows, maybe what we did might actually have an effect on the uh, final product, and that would just be awesome to see. Um, so from all of us, uh, thank you, and have a good day.